Welcome to the prayer for abundance and supernatural supply. Beloved brothers and sisters, before we embark on a journey of prayer for abundance and supernatural provision, let us delve into the depths of God's Word to grasp the profound truth that prosperity is indeed the will of our Heavenly Father for each one of us. When we are rooted in this understanding, our hearts are filled with the confidence and determination needed to seek and ask for His blessings. And we know from the Scriptures that we have a right to abundance and God's blessings. Hence the Bible makes it clear in 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Let us open our hearts to the abundant blessings that God has promised us in His Word. The Scriptures are a testament to His desire for our prosperity and well-being. In 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, we are reminded of His loving wish for us to prosper and be in good health. The Psalms also echo this sentiment, calling on those who stand for righteousness to rejoice and declare that the Lord delights in the prosperity of His servants, Psalms 35 verse 27. It is essential to recognize that the blessings we receive, including wealth and riches, come from the hand of God. As Proverbs chapter 10, Verse 22 assures us. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. To attract God's blessings, we must actively serve him and seek his will. Psalm 34 verse 10 also reminds us that those who earnestly seek the Lord lack no good thing. Furthermore, obedience and service to God lead to days of prosperity and years of joy, as we see in Job chapter 36, verse 11. If they obey and serve Him, they shall spend their days in prosperity, and their years in pleasures. Let us also remember the words of Exodus 23 verse 25, where God promises to bless our provision and remove sickness as we faithfully serve Him. So you shall serve the Lord your God, and He will bless your bread and your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Our service to the Lord aligns us with His divine purpose, and in turn, He blesses our lives beyond measure. If we look at the story of Solomon in 1 Kings chapter 3, from verses 3 to 15, we see that Solomon, who was the son of King David, became the king of Israel after his father's death. At the beginning of his reign, Solomon loved the Lord and walked in the statutes of his father David. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask. What shall I give you? Solomon humbly asked for wisdom and discernment to govern his people effectively. Solomon understood that he needed divine guidance to fulfill his duties as king. Pleased with Solomon's selfless request, God granted him wisdom and also promised him unparalleled riches and honor. Solomon's reign indeed became known for its prosperity and abundance. He became one of the wealthiest and most renowned kings in history, and his wisdom was admired by people from all over the world. His request for wisdom not only led to his personal growth and success but also brought immense blessings to the nation he led. In Christ, we have inherited a kingdom of prosperity. So, let us ready our hearts and minds to receive God's abundant blessings with unwavering faith and trust. As we approach Him in prayer, let us claim our heritage as His beloved children and confidently ask for His blessings in the name of Jesus. May our lives be a testament to His goodness, and may we use the blessings we receive to bless others and bring glory to His name. Let us stand together in faith and gratitude, knowing that our Heavenly Father delights in bestowing His blessings upon His devoted children. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before Your throne of grace, grateful for the gift of life and the opportunity to commune with You in prayer. As we gather here, 
We remember the words you have spoken to us through your holy scriptures. You encouraged us in Philippians 4 verse 6 to cast all our anxieties on you with thanksgiving, knowing that you care for us. And in Matthew 6 verses 25 to 34, you taught us the value of trusting in your loving provision, for you are our caring Father who meets all our needs. Today, we repent for the times we have allowed worry and doubt to overshadow our faith in your goodness. Your word is truth, and we seek to align our hearts with your will. Loving Lord, we ask for your abundant blessings to fill our lives. We know that you desire us to experience a life that is rich and fulfilling, as Jesus declared in John 10 verse 10. Your desire is not to harm us but to prosper us in every aspect of life. As we seek your kingdom and righteousness first, we trust that you will provide for all our physical, financial, and social needs. Help us to remember that you are our ultimate provider, and there is no need to be anxious about tomorrow. Lord, we also ask for good health and long life to enjoy the abundant blessings you pour upon us. May we honor you with our bodies and live in a way that brings glory to your name. We thank you, dear Lord, for hearing our prayers and answering them according to your perfect will. We pray all these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.